Hello. Welcome to this, this Harley Benton guitar review. This, before I get into the video, has been with me on my couch for a while now, and I've been playing it a lot, really a lot. Um, I had a few guitars from Harley Benton recently, and a few guitars from pretty much lots of different brands, but for some reason, this one found it into its way as my couch guitar, which is the guitar that gets played um, when I'm tired at the end of the day. So, now before we go over specs or sounds or anything, let's take a look at the guitar to appreciate how good it looks. Look at that. Firstly, the first thing that catches me, of course, is the body, but then it's a matching headstock as well. We've got this sandblasted black over natural wood finish, which when it arrived, I thought it was black over yellow, because it it's quite a yellowy look, but it's, it's the actual wood that you can see through there. Um, turning it over, you can see the belly curve, which is lovely for, for couch sitting and other sittingness. And then it's, it's basically a T-Star tele guitar with um, a massive access port on the back. Honestly, this guitar has been a complete surprise to me because I didn't think I was going to like the looks because it is a bit odd, but mainly it's got a very pale neck, which just to be superficial for a moment, I don't like the look of pale necks. However, the feel of this thing is gorgeous. It's sanded to perfection. It just feels so smooth. Um, it's just really a really, really nice neck. It's a C uh, neck, so it's not very thick, but not very thin. It's kind of somewhere in the middle. Um, I think most players would find it, find it comfortable. I guess I'm getting into specs now, so let's go over of the specs. The guitar clock's in at 199 euros, which is an absolute steal, and I'm gonna prove to you why in this video. That being said, they've used some alternative woods, which is, is not a bad thing. So it's not alder, it's not pine, it's not ash, it's not mahogany or anything like that. It's this wood called sunkai. If you wanna know how the wood looks pretty bare, or at least baked, then take a look at the fretboard because the fretboard is also sunkai, but it's baked sunkai. And then the neck itself is Canadian maple. I guess the next thing to grab your attention is possibly the fact that the headstock is reversed, which still confuses me to this day, and I still wonder which string I'm tuning. I'm, I don't have many uh, reversed headstock guitars, and I'm not used to them. So for me, uh, that was a bit of an issue at first. So I was, you know, missing my tuning uh, ability, <laughs> but uh, they're perfectly fine. Speaking of the tuners, um, they're good. They're not great, but they're not bad. They will hold the guitar in tune. They're a little bit hard to turn. Um, if I, if I just can we, can we play? Oh, hang on. I was unplugged. Oh. That's taking some, some turning. Tune. Yeah, so that's taking some, tu some turning to tune the guitar. And it might be a bit stiff. I don't know. They work. They keep the guitar in tune. Speaking of keeping the guitar in tune, we've got a Graftech Tusk Nut which is self-lubricating or has self-lubricating properties. It's my favorite type of nut and this guitar has it. I consider that an upgrade. So well done, Harley Benton. Uh, it's a bolt-on neck, a Michael bolt-on. Uh, it's a telly, you know, it's a telly with some, of course, we haven't mentioned them yet, Filtertron style pickups made by Roswell, which is pretty much standard for Harley Benton these days. I really don't like doing this, but before we go any further, can you please click the thumbs up if you think the video deserves a thumbs up, then more people get, get to see this video you see. That's the only reason I ask. And the reason I ask at this point in the video is that most of you are still here during this part of the video. Sometimes you forget. We've also got a master volume, which is silky smooth to turn. Well done. And the same for the tone, the master tone. And we've got a string through body with six saddles in the bridge. Three-way toggle for the two pickups. So we've got bridge, both together in parallel, and neck. I'm gonna switch through some amps today, but the first one we're listening to is the Orange Rocker 15 Terra. Um, I'm gonna do clean first and then dirty it up and then maybe use, uh, where is it? this pedal here, the Logan Overdrive from KMA. That's going through the Harley Benton Vintage 30 cab with some mics into your ears. Through the internet, of course. All right, pickup selection. First, the uh, neck, followed by the middle position, then the bridge. <laughs> Thank you. 
So open on that neck pickup is beautiful. It's warm, it's big, it's, it's, it's a really big sounding guitar, even though it's not. I don't know if it's the pickups or the wood. In fact, let's turn it off for a second. It's quite a warm sounding guitar unplugged as well. So it's not that bright. Hence, we've got this big bottom end. Yeah, so there's a big bottom end on there. Um, and then when you get into the, the bridge pickup, it gets really... There's a chord there somewhere, I'm not sure which one it is. Anyway, yeah, it sounds quite telly-like with that, that bridge, and it feels like, I mean, what if, what if Harley Benton, they said it's like a, hang on. I can't find it on the website, but it's like a, it's like a rocker's telly. It has that telliness about it, so if you want the telly sound, you can get it. Ooh. But if you want more, less, less country, It's got a really nice time. I mean, it's 200 euros. I think it's great for 200 euros. Um, what else can I say? I can, yes. The feel of the guitar is gorgeous. The sound is very open and wide and, and is it dynamic? Kind of. It's not as dynamic as I've played in the past, but it'll get you there. I think it might sound great with some dirt. Let's try it. Try both in parallel. I think it's a really, really nice sounding guitar. And as I said, it was my couch guitar, which I even played it unplugged. So I had it through this this little new X Mighty amp or mini Mighty amp. It sounded really fun. And this would be at home in many different people's rigs. I think it could do it can do rock, it can do like a country kind of thing. A, a, a sort of indie rock would be wicked, woo 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 wicked. Um, wow, where am I getting my words from? 1993. That's with the Logan, and it sounds pretty meaty. Um, I'm going to put it through the Marshall SV20 because I need I need to know if it does actual rock rather than you know whatever that was. <laughs> I 
just noticed how bright it is. Uh, normally when I'm putting things through the Marshall, it sounds, is this? Yeah, I am going through the right amp. It sounds thick and full. In fact, if I put a guitar through there, I, I know what it sounds like. I put this, this my back through there. Listen to this. I've just noticed how low output the pickups are, or rather how different they are to something I was playing before, which is a humbucker. They're, they're really clear and not in a nice picky way. There's lots of presence. That's the bridge, that's the, the neck. I thought it was the bridge. Most of the tone seems to be between sort of one and four, one and three, maybe. There's almost nothing between sort of five and 10. I've moved it just a little bit, so it sounds like this. There's something happening there, but the, most of the tone is, is there. Okay, uh, and then the volume, just backing that off. I don't think this is a good guitar for rock, at least not for classic rock. Um, I think it's a great guitar if you want to do some, some, something more jangly. So it can still be rock, but don't expect like getting a, like a double humbucker tally. That's not what these Filtertrons do, evidently. Uh, incidentally, all the reverbs coming from whoa. Incidentally, all the reverbs coming from the Strymon Flint, and uh, that was the '80s mode, which I uh, normally stick to '60s or '70s, but that required some ambiance. What more to say about the TE90 FLT Black Blast? I love the name. Uh, it's a bit wordy, but Black Blast because of the you know the sandblasted look. The fact that it's very 3D is very very cool, and ultimately it's 200 bucks, and that is nothing for a, what is evidently a really fun guitar. Um, if you were gonna gig it, I'd recommend changing the tuners just to something a little bit more, uh, with, with some more movement. So you haven't gotta go from out of tune to in tune. You know, it's gotta have a little bit more movement. Pickups, don't buy this if you wanna do some sort of rock and you don't have any pedals. Cause I put that through that, that SV20 and it didn't sound like I expected it to. Um, I looked up at the angle then. Let's just see if it does, does any chugging. I know what that reminds me of. It reminds me of What's the Frequency Kenneth, like a really distorted amp. It's normally a heavy metal amp, but with these pickups in this guitar, it doesn't sound that way. So if I put some trem on and the speed about there, if you know the REM song. <laughs> It sounds like that, it's really clear. So I dig this guitar because of how clear it is. And also because it's not that clear when you play it unplugged, it's, it's, it's amazing.
So the review part of the video is no surprise that I think this guitar is pretty damn fine. It punches way above 200 euros. So when you're spending between like 200 and 300 euros, there's a big difference between 200 and even 240. So this with better machine heads would be an absolute killer guitar if you like that tone. The tone is very different uh, to what I'm used to. So it's, I, I don't really play filtertrons. I've got nothing, I tell a lie. I've got the, the, the prestige DC coupe with the filtertron style TV Jones in there. And that's also quite bright, but the TV, jo uh, sorry, the Roswell F uh, 5157940 is really nice in the neck because it retains that clarity even though it's warmer. I think that's that's the fun point for me. I can't believe the, the Fireball 25 sounds like that. Uh, it normally doesn't sound anything like that, by the way, in case you know that amp. Yeah, the review. Um, Ultimately, 200 bucks is nothing if you like this tone. If you're not used to that sound, that wide open, bright, filter tranny sound, you might not like it. If what you've heard so far and in other samples, of course, around the internet, then absolutely, 200 bucks is nothing. It's, that's not fair to say. Compared to other guitars of similar uh, ability, this guitar is very, very affordable. A word of warning, the switch on this is not great, and I think that might fail at some point in the future. It's just a feeling I have because when I, I change pickup selection, the connection is good, it's audibly good, but it feels flimsy. There's movement in both, in, there shouldn't be really that much movement in both directions. Yeah, it's, it's not that great a switch, and especially if you're slamming it, you're gonna snap that off perhaps. Yeah, I would, I would, if you're gonna gig this, I would recommend new tuners and possibly a new switch at some point. Comes with the Dario strings, which is fantastic because you're not getting some cheap no-name strings that sound rubbish. I've not changed the strings on these. These are the original strings. And sometimes on affordable guitars, they don't come with good strings. And that is the first thing that I have a problem with. Harley Benton, well done. You have once again released a great guitar at a great price. That is all for today with the TE90 FLT Black Blast. If you've made it this far, it means you're at the... Kids are running around outside. You made it this far, you've made it to the end of the video. And to prove that you are uh, at the end of the video, you need to be in the end of the video club. And then to prove that you're in the club, the prestigious elite, when you leave comments down below telling me what you think of this guitar, please also include the phrase, blast off. And that'll make me laugh, and then I'll know that you made it this far. It's a nice way, you know, to, to know that people are listening to this part and watching this part. That just leaves me to say thank you to Mr. Harley Benton for loaning me his guitar and for sponsoring this video. There are other videos over there you can watch if you fancy it, but before you leave, please click the thumbs up icon if you think it deserves a thumbs up. See you soon. Bye-bye.